You're gonna film me. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Yellow Yak, and I'm here with another painting today. So my original idea for this painting was to create like comic book panels. Um, originally I wanted to do just a black and white painting and just be really bold and dramatic. Um, however, once I started sketching out what I actually wanted to include in the, the sections of this painting, I decided that it would look better in colour. So I changed my approach and I wanted to do a full colour painting instead. So here I'm working on what I consider the main section of this piece, which is the koi fish swimming in the pond. I don't really paint a lot of water scenes, so this is really fun to experiment with. Uh, getting the look of water I found to be quite difficult, trying to actually make it look like the fish and the rocks and things are underwater. But I think using this more stylized approach was a good choice, and I think it came out really nice. So once I changed my mind about using colour in this piece, I decided I wanted to limit how many colours I was using. I chose to do this to keep the different areas of the painting cohesive in the colour scheme. So when I was moving between the sections, I used a lot of tape to make sure I didn't paint over the other areas. I also did this to try and keep the lines between the, the areas nice and clean. I didn't really want to like line between each of the areas, I just wanted to leave it, the colours up against each other. So this little guy is the lucky cat. I quite like <laughs> lucky cats. Um, when I visited Japan uh, a couple years ago, I bought quite a few of them and I gave most of them to my partner. So we have a little collection <laughs> going. I just think they're adorable and I love the designs and I love like other drawings of them as well. People do such cute illustrations of them and I just wanted to do one of my own. This is the bottom section of the painting. I flipped the painting on its side so I could continue the wraparound effect around all the edges. So this is like a little pattern motif that I've been using quite a bit lately. I've used it in my headers on various websites, my own website um, and other social medias and things like that. I think the design's just really cute, it's like little waves. Um, normally I draw it digitally though, so doing it with a paintbrush felt quite odd, especially since this was a calligraphy brush, I didn't really hold the paint very well, so it was a bit difficult to get the lines as clean as I would have liked them. So I love texture in paintings, so I decided to do this little stream section, uh, pretty textural and a bit more abstract with the water. I really like the bumps and grooves of the paint when you really load it up onto a brush like that. So this bit here is like a little wooden building and I was putting little red lanterns on the front. I just wanted to include a bit more of that red and tie it back into the koi fish. Even though there's a big red section <laughs> next to it, but I just really wanted to include more of that. So 
So this top bit, I just decided to do a little scenery painting because why not? Uh, I've helped tie in all the colours back together, the blue, the green, the red. You know, just keep it all cohesive and just include a little bit of everything um, since there isn't really any blue in the top. So I wanted to really bring back more of that blue colour into the painting up there as well. I haven't done a scenery painting in quite a while, so it was really fun just to do this little version of one in this piece. So this is the last little section left on this painting. I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. I don't think it's quite finished yet. Um, I do want to do a few little touch-ups here and there and I'll upload the completely finished piece uh, on my Instagram account and my website when it's done. So keep an eye out there if you want to see it. Uh, it won't change too much from where it's at though. But yeah, I think it's really cute and I had a lot of fun doing this one. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.